Hello, I'm Tekken Vow24, and welcome back to episode 3 of Did You Know That? Did you know that cheese has the same effect on your brain as heroin does? The researchers recu recruited around 500 people for two separate studies. In one study, people completed the Yale Food Addiction Scale, a questionnaire designed to measure whether you're, f you're addicted to food. Questions included, I eat to the point where I feel physically ill. Then those participants in indicated which foods out of a list of 35 they found the most addictive. In the study, participants also completed the addiction questionnaire and then rated each food on the list of 35 and how tough it is to stop eating it. The result published in the journal, PLOS1, will likely not surprise you. Pizza topped the list of addictive foods topping chocolate, chips and cookies. Cheeseburgers and just plain cheese were also rated as highly addictive. So what exactly makes pizza so alluring? The top reason is its process. The second reason is that it's packed with fattening cheese. The study's authors predict that the higher the fat content in food, the more addictive it is regardless of whether you have a tendency to binge. And though it's easy to throw around the word addiction when it comes to your favourite foods, sometimes it can be very serious. Previous research has found that a small group of people actually show behaviours of substance abuse, even when the substance is food. Dr. Neil Barnard, who runs the Physics Committee for Responsible Medicine, has started a vendetta against cheese. Cheese is so addictive, he said, because it contains the protein casein, which creates casomorphines which, when the d dairy breaks down in your body. Casomorphines attach to the brain's opiate receptors to cause a calming effect in which, in the same way heroin and morphine do. In fact, since cheese is processed to express out all the liquid, it's an incredible concentrated source of casomorphines, you might call it dairy crack. Further studies still need to be done to show exactly how causophines affect the brain, so it's not yet set in stone. Plus, our bodies actually love cheese since it gives us nutrients, which sets us apart from, well, actual crack. So, sure, cheese is unhealthy and has addictive properties, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go through withdrawal if you stop eating it. In fact, several studies have shown that eating small servings of full-fat dairy like cheese might reduce your risk of diabetes and high blood pressure. So as the saying goes, everything in moderation, even when it comes to dairy crack.